Hey guys, pumpkin spice lattes are back on the menu, and you know what? So is Fall TV. I'm Andrew Freund, and I'm about to break it all down. First up is the new Lord of the Rings series. It is the most expensive show ever made. The vast scenic beauty of this show is what took me right back into the stories. We see the same characters that we've seen in the film because this is a prequel. And the show gets really dark, y'all. Let me just say, really, really dark. And we dive right back into Middle Earth. The final season of The Good Fight is coming to Paramount Plus, and it's on Thursdays. The series creators have said is cataclysmic. The world is ending. It's going to be a bit darker than we've seen. But you know what? Christine Baranski and Audra McDonald are there, and we're going to see how their character storylines are going to wrap up. Are you gutsy? But are you really, really gutsy? Because season one of Gutsy is streaming right now on Apple TV+, Plus, starring none other than Secretary Hillary Clinton and her daughter, Chelsea Clinton. In this series, they talk to other gutsy women, Meg The Stallion, Kim Kardashian, Goldie Hawn and Kate Hudson, and we see them really come together and dive deep in issues that people are going through, what everyone out there is going through. And this series is so, so good, and you are going to be very, very entertained. Now, if you're looking for a country fix and you're missing Empire, I think, I think I have the show for you. Monarch is right now on Fox. It follows the country music dynasty family starring Trace Adkins and Susan Sarandon. Now, we also get to see some very special country music cameos. We've seen Shania Twain, we've seen Martina McBride, but I'm told that coming up we're going to see Tanya Tucker and also Little Big Town. Are you ready to take a leap? Are you ready to take a quantum leap? That's right, the hit series is back on NBC and streaming on Peacock. The first episode takes us back to 1985, and the same thing happens because someone takes the leap and we gotta get them back, y'all. We're gonna get to see all the things that we love from the original, and mixed with some new technology, Raymond Lee plays Dr. Ben Song, and it's great to see some new kind of energy into the series. Everyone's hit favorite series, Abbott Elementary, is back on ABC. Of course, they hit a high note at the Emmys. Cheryl Lee Ralph won the Emmy. Series creator Quinta Bronson won the Emmy for Best Series Writing. In season two, we're going to get to see the characters outside of the school. Because, of course, in season one, it really took place inside the school. But this season two, we're going to get to see some things outside of the school. We're going to get to see how Janine survives post-breakup. Have you guys missed the Kardashians? But have you, have you really missed the Kardashians? They're coming back to Hulu. All the Kardashians are back, but this current season, they really want people to see that they aren't just the family that we've seen in tabloid. They want you to see the real them people. And we also get to see Travis and Courtney's lavish Italian wedding, which, as I'm sure you saw in photos, looked like it cost 10 gajillion dollars, as I'm sure this Hulu show does as well. One of the biggest shows of the year is coming back in November. That's right, Yellowstone season five is back, and I'm told that the first five episodes of this current season are going to be nothing like you expected it to be. Kevin Costner has even said he doesn't want his own family to watch the show because it gets a little bit racy this current season. We're going to see more horses. We're going to see more ranching more than ever before on Yellowstone season five. Coming to Netflix later this fall is a new show called The Watcher. Now, this is a Ryan Murphy show. So we know that Ryan, he throws curveballs out there that you're never quite sure what's going to go on and things could get a little dicey. But the really cool part about this show is it's based on a true story. So The Watcher stars Bobby Cannavale and Naomi Watts. They star as this couple that moves into this New Jersey town. And the town is not exactly as they perceive it to be. They start getting letters from someone that's watching them. Jennifer Coolidge plays the real estate agent. Jennifer just won her Emmy for Best Comedic Actress in White Lotus. But she stars as a real estate agent in The Watcher. And you know what? I can't wait to watch it. Well, summer is officially over and fall TV has officially begun. I can't wait to watch all the shows we talked about today. So curl up, get that latte, and you know what? It's gonna be a good fall. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.